Usa ka tingog. Usa ka katawhan. Cebu Catholic Television Network. Network. Live gikan sa MTV CCTN New Center. Kini ang balita sa alas tose. Uluhan sa mga balita sa alas dose. Security guard na nulis o gasoline station dito sa lungsod sa Luginsan. LTFRB nagpaabot pa sa deputation order gikan sa LTO. Araw makaisyo silang TOP sa mga badlogong driver. Mayong unto ako si Dennis Tabar, kauban sa Newsang Puwersa sa CCTN News Team. Kami muhatod ka ninyo sa mga balita sa alas 12. Karun sa detalye sa atong mga balita. Doon ay 20 anyos nga tagalungsod sa konsolasyon, probinsya sa Sugbo, ang nalutsan o guwarad o bares sa unong kayhap nga kasong pagpanglugos. Nadakpan sa mga sakop sa Criminal Investigation and Detection Group, si Bucite Field Unit dito sa Barangay Carita, Ningdakbayan sa Sugbo. Ang kasayuran ihatod ni Arnold Bustamante. Di ay 29 anos ka tagalungsod sa Konsolasyon, Provinsya ng Sugbo, nga narod sa nagwaran tabare sa unong kayhap sa kasong pagpanglugos, nalagpan kini sa mga sakop sa Criminal Investigation and Detection Group, Cebu Field Unit, dito sa Barangay Kareta, sa Nakbed sa Sugbo. Ang CIDU sa pagpangulo ni Police Lieutenant Colonel Hector Amansya, uban sa mga sakop sa City Mobile Force Company sa Cebu City Police Office, malang puso nga medikop kang Mario Bakilta alias Mario Bacosado Bakilta. 29 anos ka tagabarangay hugan lungsod sa Konsolasyon. Ang mga operatiba armado gwaran tabare sa kagilawatan ni Jans Esther Veloso. Sa artisi Brand 6 sa Nakbayan Sugbo, sa unong kaihap sa kasong pagpanglugos, gawalang itungot ka piyansa nga pinitsahan itong Marso 6, 2022. Mato ni Amansya, nga minusan silang social media exploitation, sulod sa duha kasimana, sa paglocate sa nemotangan sa akusado. Ilakinin nga gikontak na magkita sa barangay kareta, o gintong himo ang pagsikop ni ini. Misaway paunta sa pag-ikya si Bakilta, sa dihanga naman tayo ni ini, nga mga polis ang iangi pagkikitaan, apan nasignit kini sa mga polis nga nagpalibot kaniya. Nahitabo ang krimen na itong 2019, din niyang gilugos ang sulod sa unong kahigayon. Gingong kaoban sa asawa sa akusado ang biktima, isip o sa kakatabang sa Maria Luisa Village sa Nakbayan Sugbo, di hindi ito nahitabo ang krimen. Minangop ang biktima sa Mabulo Police Station nga mausap ang nipasaka sa kasong ato sa korte. Una nang niangkod si Bakilta sa krimen sa anglit hubog siya na itong mga panahuna sa hitabo. Human masayod ni Kiha siya sa biktima. Milayas kinipaingon sa iyang lugar nga natawahan sa Gihulgan City, Negros Oriental, o di ito nagtago-tago sulod sa pipila katuig. Samtang laing dadakpan nga doon ay duha kaihap sa kasong magpanglugos, mausin Jimmy Kanyete de la Cruz, 48 anyos, nga taga barangay Perelos, Ciudad, sa Karkar. Ang CIDG Provincial Field Unit sa magpangulo ni Police Major Nazarino Emia, inabagan sa Karkar City Police Station o Provincial Mobile Force Company Armado Guaranta Barest, nga giluwatan ni Judge Joy Barcero Redoble sa Regional Trial Court Branch 77 sa Ciudad, sa Karkar. Nahitabo ang pagpanglugo sa 24 anyos ng dalaga. Sunod sa ilang panimahay sa Karkar nito Oktubre 18 hangtod sa Oktubre 20, 2021. Arnold Bustamante, CCT News. Security guard na nulis o gasoline station pasado alas 12 sa unto dito sa Purok 3, Barangay Bunbon, lungsod sa Aluginsan. Ang nadakpan gitanggong na karon sa prisuhan sa Aluginsan Police Station. Ang suspek gila nga si Renato Hubiren Sarkilia, 46 anyos nga taga dito raw sa Maong Dapit. Ang hipi sa Aluginsan Police Station nga si Lieutenant Roberto Bardido Jr. ang nakadawat o gatawa gikan sa saka concerned citizen nga matod pa doon ay gitulis nga gasoline station. Pag-abot sa kapulisan sa gitrabahoan sa suspek ila kining gi-interview o gito matod pa mi angkon nga siya mo ay nagtulis sa gasoline station. Si Bardino Miasoy nga mitugan ang suspek nga tungod sa kawadon o gwa pa hangtod karon makadawat sa iyang swildo mao nakahimo siya sa pagpanulis. Ang gwardiya doon ay unong kaanak o giingong katapusang nakadawat sa iyang swildo niya to pang buwan sa Julio. Land Transportation Franchising and Regulatory Board kung LTFRB nagpaabot na lang sa deputation order gikan sa LTO7 aron sila maka-issue o temporary operator's permit kung TOP ngadto sa mga driver sa mga public utility vehicles ng mga badlungon Kini ang gibutyag ni LTFRB7 Regional Director Eduardo Monti Alto human nga yung gihulagway nga wahatagi o dili sa mga driver ang ilang gi-issue nga ticket sangit dili sila 
ang apektado kay alang kini sa mga operators o tag-iya sa unit nga ilang gimaniho. Kapin kun kulang na po ka mga driver sa public utility jeepneys o modernized PUJ ang ilang na isyuhan o ticket gumikan sa overloading. Apan wag yapong magmatngon ang mga driver kay ang mubayad sa penalty ang ilang mga mga operator. Ang LTFRB itugot na nga mabalik ang standing o kung magbarug ang mga pasahero soon sa mga public utility bus o modern PUJ na ilang disuspenso ni atong pagkusog sa COVID-19. Giawag ni Monte Alto ang mga tao sa pagkuha o gulagway sa mga PUB kansang mga driver nag-overloading o gipada sa ilang buhatan ang Facebook page aron mapanadaan kini og sumon o pabayron. Giyon na na sa ikatulo ug katapusang pagbasa sa House of Representatives ang balaod nun nga nagdeklarar sa Hunyo 17 matag tuig isip special non-working holiday sa dakbayan sa Lapu-Lapu. Si Lapu-Lapu City Lone District Representative Maria Cynthia Cindy Chan ni sangat og House Bill 4839 ni adtong September 14 karong tuiga nga nagtinguha nga ideklarar ang Charter Day sa siyudad sa Lapu-Lapu isip special non-working holiday. Sa yang Facebook post ni Adtong Martes si Chan Miingon nga kon mahimo na kining balaod dili na kinahanglan nga ang kagamhanan sa dakbayan sa Lapu-Lapu muhangyo pa sa Balakanyang matagtuig aron ilang ideklarar ang Charter Day nga usa ka holiday. Pagpapakuna, pagkapon o paglaygit sa mga binuhing mananap gipahigayon sa Dakbayan sa Mandawi kagahapon sa Buntag. Subay na kini sa pagsaulog sa Anti-Revis Day karong September 28. Kung karong Adlawa, ang kasayuran ihatod ni Mary Rose Sagarino. Subay sa selebrasyon sa Anti-Rabies Day karong September 28 o sa ka-Anti-Rabies Vaccination as Pay o Castration sa mga Pet Animals ang gipahigayon sa Mandawi City Cultural and Sports Complex kaganinang buntag. Muabot sa kapin o sa kagatos ka mga iring o giro ang nakapahimu sa maong mga sirbisyo. Ang kalihukan giorganize sa Tri-City sa Mandawi, Lapu-Lapu o Cebu sa pagpakigalayon o sab sa pipila ka-organisasyon. Nagsugod ang maong aktividad ni Adtong Lunes sa Dakbayan sa Lapu-Lapu o sa September 29, ipahigayon kini sa Dakbayan sa Sugbo. Ug mga adlawa, mupahigayon o sab sila o anti-rabies vaccination, magsugod kini sa Plaza Sugbo sa Cebu City, dayon sa Park Mall sa Mandawi City o Hoops Dome sa syudad sa Lapu-Lapu. For Mandawi, we have vaccination, free vaccination for pets and for owners who wish to avail uh, free exposure from the city of office. Uh, tomorrow, uh, City Health will be giving out 50 free for kanang humans, no free exposure to those rescuers, owners who wish to avail, and uh, 100 pets for kanang pet mall as well. Tinguha nila nga mahunong ang pagkuyanap sa rabies sa tuig 2030. Giawag usab nila ang mga pet owners nga mahimong responsable sa ilang binuhing mga iro o giring. We are irresponsible pet owners. That's why we are promoting responsibility including responsible stray feeding which is kana usa na siya ka-contribute to in the advance of the stray dogs. And irresponsible pet owners, buhian lang ang mga dogs nato no. That's why kana hindi jud nato ma-end. Not until everybody is disciplined and for Mandawi, we are trying to regulate and impose kanang penalty soon for these irresponsible owners to control the cases, the incidence of bites and the incidence of rabies within the city. Sa syudad sa Mandawi, si Mireles ni Ingon, na walo na ang kaso sa rabies sa mga iro nga ilang natala karong tuiga. Wala usab sila ay natala nga rabies case sa tao. Mary Rosa Garino, CCTN News. Mo kadto ato mga balita sa alas 12 sa ngan sa tanang kaubanan sa CCTV News and Current Affairs ako si Dennis Tabar. Atangi ang atong Sari Corinta Isyate karong alas 5 sa hapon hangtod na sa alas 6 sa gabi. Up next ang Santos nga misa manukad live sa CCTV Chapel. Daghang salamat.
Edition of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and Family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and Family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and Family. the feast of San Lorenzo Ruiz, the so-called proto-martyr of the Philippines and the first Filipino saint. And in this Eucharistic celebration, as we offer the Lord all the thanksgiving that we need to offer to Him, especially in this Holy Eucharist, we include also the intentions of people who, are, who have entrusted their, their cares for all of us, together with the intentions of all those who are commemorating their birthdays or anniversaries today, and for all those who are virtually participating in this telecast and stream celebration. Also, we continue to pray for the needs of all those who tirelessly support the Apostolate of CCTN through prayer intentions, love offerings, sponsorships, and reassuring goodwill. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, Lord God, the same perseverance shown by your martyrs, Saint Lorenzo Ruiz and his companions, in serving you and their neighbor. See, hence those persecuted for the sake of righteousness are blessed in your kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. from the book of Job. Job answered his friends and said, I know well that it is so, but how can a man be justified before God? Should one wish to contend with him, 
he could not answer him once in a thousand times. God is wise in heart and mighty in strength. Who has withstood him and remained unscathed? He removes the mountains before they know it. He overturns them in his anger. He shakes the earth out of its place, and the pillars beneath it tremble. He commands the sun, and it rises not. He seals up the stars. He alone stretches out the heavens and treads upon the crests of the sea. He made the bear and Orion, the Pleiades and the constellations of the south. He does great things past finding out, marvelous things beyond reckoning. Should he come near me, I see him not. Should he pass by, I am not aware of him. Should he seize me forcibly, who can say him nay? Who can say to him, what are you doing? How much less shall I give him any answer, or choose out arguments against him? Even though I were right, I could not answer him, but should rather beg for what was due me. If I appealed to him and he answered my call, I could not believe that he would hearken to my words. The Word of the Lord.
Gospel according to Luke. As Jesus and his disciples were proceeding on their journey, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus answered him, Foxes have dens and birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to rest his head. And to another he said, Follow me. And he re but he replied, Lord, let me go first and bury my father. But he answered him, Let the dead bury their dead, but you go and proclaim the kingdom of God. And another said, I will follow you, Lord, but first let me say farewell to my family at home. And Jesus answered him, No one who sets a hand to the plow and looks to what was left behind is fit for the kingdom of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. A blessed Wednesday to us. And as Filipinos, happy fiesta, kanatong tanan. There is one very significant dimension that the Gospel reading today presents. And this is a classic Lucan style of writing. Actually, the story that G that St. Luke is uh, presenting to us into this gospel reading is so much uh, is so much all about discipleship or what it means to follow the Lord. And here the classic stance of Saint Luke in his gospel is of the three uh, examples or conditions given or parables in such a way. It's all an open-ended story. But the first one who actually presented himself. And then just said and said, I'll follow you wherever you go. And then Jesus gave the condition. It is not ended. It is open-ended. In as much as the second, who actually was called by Jesus. And then the third one was another person who actually volunteered. And in this case of voluntary, uh, what we call voluntariness, you know, to follow the Lord. And of those who are also being called, the story is for each and every one to finish. We see ourselves in the three examples given. It's up to us to follow, to follow or to end the story and to take a look into the, the conditions, first of the one who was actually challenged of foxes have layers, birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. We don't know what happened after that. And then another one who was also said, who was called, but then he has a condition himself. And then the final one who also presented himself, but then Jesus gave a challenge that what, whenever one makes a decision, he has to pursue it. And so it falls to each and every one of us. Pili lang ta, kung diinta anang tulo. But what remains constant and basic is all of us are called to follow the Lord. Let us face the challenges that each of us actually have in terms of what this vocation or what this following is all about. And let everything also be part of the challenges and the struggles that we have to do. But we are not alone. As, as Job in today's first reading would, would invoke the presence of God everywhere, his mighty deeds as creator of the world, stretching the heavens, practically doing everything to sustain the world. Our vocation and our following him, our discipleship, also is in the same way sustained by God, who actually knows practically every one of us inside and out. We only have to surrender ourselves to him, to his will, and then do the best that we can because he has also given us the power and the strength and the freedom to continue and to make good whatever is in store for us, whatever is being laid down for us as we continue our journey of faith, our vocation stories. Amen.
Saint Lorenzo Ruiz is the proto-martyr of the Philippines and the first Filipino saint. Let us now pray to the Lord that through the prayers of Saint Lorenzo Ruiz and his companions, we may overcome all life's trials and eventually increase our hope and love. And so we say, Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz was a family man. May he intercede for our families and keep family members united in love. We pray. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. May the Lord bless church workers and catechists, migrants and missionaries that like Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, they may share and give witness to the faith in Christ, we pray. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. Following the example of Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, may we offer to God our life, and even if we have a thousand lives, we may still offer them to Him, we pray. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. May Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, who died in a foreign country, take care of Filipinos living and working in this country and in other parts of the world, we pray. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. May Filipinos who have left their country in search for a better future may become leavens of faith to communities to which they belong sharing their culture and spiritual wealth, we pray. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. God of our Father, through the intercession of Saint Lorenzo Ruiz and companions, enable us by your Holy Spirit to live and die for you and your beloved people. We ask this to the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the sacrifice soon to be consecrated be acceptable to you, O Lord, we pray. In commemoration of this precious martyrdom of St. Lorenzo Ruiz and companions, so that it may cleanse our sins and commend to you the prayers of your servants through Christ our Lord.
is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for the blood of your blessed martyrs saint lorenzo ruiz and companions poured out like christ to glorify your name shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through christ our lord and so with the powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end we acclaim we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, with Midifil and Ruben, his assistant bishops, all bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially Monsignor Fred Crickenbeek, your priest, and all who have died in your mercy. 
Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Lorenzo Ruiz and companions, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may Mary to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, do not allow us to fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's now share with each other the sign of peace. Shalom. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed.
Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that being nourished by the bread of heaven and made one body in Christ, we may never be separated from his love. And after the example of your holy martyrs, St. Lorenzo and Ruiz and companions, may he bravely overcome all things for the sake of him who loved us, who lives and reigns forever and ever. of consecration to Saint Joseph. O glorious patriarch and patron of the church, O virgin spouse of the virgin mother of God, O virgin and virginal father of the word incarnate, in the presence of Jesus and Mary, I choose you this day to be my father, my guardian, and my protector. O great Saint Joseph, whom God has made the head of the holy family, Accept me, I beseech you, the utterly unworthy, to be a member of your holy house. Present me to your immaculate spouse. Ask her also to adopt me as her child. With her, pray that I may constantly think of Jesus and serve him faithfully to the end of my life. O terror of demons, increase in me virtue. Protect me from the evil one and help me not to offend God in any way. O oh, my spiritual Father, I hereby consecrate myself to you. In faithful imitation of Jesus and Mary, I place myself and all my concerns under your care and protection. To you, after Jesus and Mary, I consecrate my body and soul with all their faculties, my spiritual growth, my home, and all my affairs and undertakings. Forsake me not, but adopt me as a servant and child of the Holy Family. Watch over me at all times, but especially at the hour of my death. Console and strengthen me with the presence of Jesus and Mary, so that with you I may praise and adore the Holy Trinity for all eternity. Amen. Amen. Holy Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. noble offspring of David, pray for us. light of patriarchs, pray for us. spouse of the mother of God, pray for us. chaste guardian of the virgin, pray for us. foster father of the son of God, pray for us. zealous defender of Christ, pray for us. head of the holy family, pray for us. Joseph most just, pray for us. Joseph most chaste, pray for us. Joseph most prudent, pray for us. Joseph most courageous, pray for us. Joseph most obedient. Pray for us. Joseph most faithful. Pray for us. Mirror of patience. Pray for us. Lover of poverty. Pray for us. Model of workmen. Pray for us. Glory of domestic life. Pray for us. Guardian of virgins. Pray for us. Pillar of families. Pray for us. Comfort of the afflicted. Pray for us. Hope of the sick. Pray for us. Patron of the dying. Pray for us. Terror of demons. Pray for us. Protector of the Holy Church. Pray for us. He has made him Lord of his household. And prince over all his possessions. Let us pray. O God, who in your loving providence chose Blessed Joseph to be the spouse of your most holy mother, grant us the favor of having him for our intercessor in heaven, whom on earth we venerate as our protector. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with yours. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Holy Eucharist has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.
This live coverage of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Adilio and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and Family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and Family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and Family.